This is a modular power strip called Q-Block, a brand new invention coming soon to Kickstarter that allows you to customize your very own power strip. We have the base and then the blocks that you can order and rotate as you like to build a power station that perfectly fits your needs. Got the new drip from Kimwell. This is their newest product called QBlock. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So that's the box. We ha just have this sticker on here. Other than that, nothing of interest. So let's open it up. So paperwork on top. We have this and we also have this empty box. So first of all, let me get rid of all the wrap. We have this part and we also have this. Okay. And lastly, so these are the contents of the box. So let's start with the paperwork. We have this welcome card. Backside is just blank. And we have the user manual right here. Backside, let's check it out. Page one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Great manual. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. So it's very colorful. We have the different modules in here and the socket itself, of course, and the cable for the outlet. So this is a regular EU cable for EU sockets, but all of these are specific to the Q block. So if, it, if we take a look and compare them with the EU socket, all of these modules, they will just fit the Q block socket. And we get the, the socket with four modules in there and also a fifth spare module with this cap right here to protect the pins. So let's take a close look. All right, first of all, let's remove all the modules. For this, you need to press the release button. And again, let's start with this end right here. So we already know all about that. Then we have the specs on the cable. So this is a 1.5 square millimeter cable. Great flexibility, by the way. Then on this side, we have the on and off switch or the reset. And this also has an integrated surge protection. So that's amazing. With this, you can reset the protection basically. Then we have the housing basically, and this is super interesting. First of all, on this side, we have the release mechanism or the release button and the mechanism itself is on either side. When you press it, then you can pull it out. So we have this look, it's looking like a dice. You can fit them in either way, but before we get to that, it's like the back and the other side. This side is also blank, that's the socket. And now we have all the cubes, so we will get three color coded sockets with the regular, just the regular outlets. And then we also get two special modules. This one is a powerful 45 watt scan charger with a USB A and USB C socket, as you can see. And then we also have this sensor light. This is a touch sensitive light. We'll check it out. We'll test it in a second. And the special modules, they only have two pins, just a plus and minus, of course. And all the regular outlets, they of course require a third pin for the mass you know, for these. So you can either go for three outlets and just one special module or just two outlets and two special modules. So of course we will put the spare one to the side, but first let me show you this cap again. So this protective cap, this will fit on there either way. So the spare cube is safe and sound. And now this one also has two, two ways of plugging it in. And this way you can decide the orientation of this. That's actually pretty genius. This way or this way. And as you can see, you can also put one in like so. Then you have one like this, one like this. Next up is the GAN charger. Let's like this. That's looking good to me. And the lamp. lamp. All right. Good stuff. And now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. So as you can see, this is a beautifully designed power strip and this modular concept allows you to customize it, rotate and order the blocks, the colors as you like, according to your individual lifestyle and so on, you get it. First amazing feature, we have universal compatibility. The thing will come with, well, all the sockets that you need. This is the European socket. It's also available for Australia, England, US, China, you name it. 
worldwide universal compatibility, as I said. Second feature, some of these modules they already allow you to add features or an atmosphere. We have the night light, the sensor light. We have a powerful quick charger. There is also a Bluetooth speaker module and I'm sure there will be much more down the road. Third amazing feature, you can declutter your setup because thanks to the fact that you can rotate them 90 degrees, you can fit all the, all the power bricks that you have in there. This one, for example, would be better this way. This way it will save more space. Also great feature for cable management. Fourth feature, this is a super stable build. The modules are fixed in there for good. There is a two-stage separation mechanic in there. So this is safe and sound, sturdy build, great parts. And lastly, number five, we also have amazing safety features built in. We have the on-off button, and that's also a reset button for the integrated surge protection. So no need to worry about overloads. This will take care of it and protect your devices. Not bad, right? And now let me show you how it works. It's time to plug it in. So three, two, one, power. <laughs> of course, I also need to flip the switch. And as you can see, there is a little LED in here. Now it's active. Oh, that is cute. Okay, so there are three settings to it and it's a super light press. Like this is, yeah, as I said, it's touch sensitive. It's a capacitive button. So there's a great night light right here. Now let's try the powerful fast charger with the USB-C to USB-C. Perfect. And now Let's try one of these regular sockets with a regular charger. Perfect. Let's turn off the lights. Oh, did you see that? Now I get it. So that's why it's a sensor because it's, I thought this would be an LED, but this is, seems to be, a, this is actually the sensor. So it's completely dark. Now we can see the actual switch, the light of the switch a bit better and this sensor. So check this out. Now it's sensing the light, but when I turn it off, oh, there is no light. It will sense that, turn itself on. So during the day, this will just stay off. And when it's night, then you will have this little night light that you can also adjust in three settings. And you can, of course, just turn it off as well, but it will turn itself on again as you can see right here. So if you don't want it, then just get rid of it. So this would be a perfect night light, a cute one if you're into that. But if you're like me and you prefer complete darkness, then you can of course just use the space and insert another regular plug. So yeah, that's a pretty cool concept. I'm very familiar with the modular concept, but this is the first time that I'm seeing it applied to a power strip. Very interesting idea, especially the different modules. There are literally endless possibilities for blocks when you think about it, with possible smart features down the road. Also, there is a color coding aspect of it when you can also change the colors for every individual block. I would love that. So yeah, great new concept all in all, definitely drippy. Can't wait to see further developments on this platform. And yeah, as I said, this will be soon launched on Kickstarter. So if you want to support these projects and further developments, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.